two things. One, I'm not just saying that the only people we let in the, the country should only be those with college degrees, but it seems crazy that just as soon as people are at that point when they contribute, they want to contribute to our economy, they're in a position to do it. The high-tech software engineers, the, the well-trained scientists, we kick them out. The people most likely to make an economic contribution, we train them at our university. Sometimes we subsidize their research, and then we make them leave, and they go compete with us in other countries. Surely there's room in our economy for hardworking individuals that may not have formal education, and that's fine, too, as long as we have a policy based on the real needs of our economy. Right now, we're kicking out the most productive, uh, some of the most productive immigrants that want to work here and want to contribute here. But there's a third part of the immigration policy as well. Yes, we need to secure the borders and enforce our laws. We're a country of laws. Secondly, have an immigration policy that's tied to the needs of our, our society, our country, our economy. But third, let's go back to the old-fashioned American process where you actually assimilate when you come here. Now, the politically correct crowd will tell you, you can't impose American values on people. Well, that's nonsense. What's wrong with imposing American values on people that want to come here? I, I write in the book that we want converts, not just immigrants. Yeah, you know, obviously English should be the common language. Well, how are you going to succeed in this country if you don't speak the language? And of course, we should say, if you come here, you're not coming here to be on welfare or get a government check. That's not the American dream. We should welcome people who want to work, make a contribution. They're coming here to seek a better life for themselves and their children. 